You're watching the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, replacing missing teeth with dental implants. According to my first guest, she says nobody should be wearing a loose-fitting denture. With us, we have an expert on the topic. We've had her on the program before, Dr. Carol Phillips. Dr. Phillips, welcome to the program. Thank you for having me, Randy. I should say welcome back, by the way. I know you're very busy. And you brought a lot of photos, so I'll give you a chance to show some of those. Now, for people that don't know your practice, uh, because I, I think you tend to focus on dental implants, is that correct? We do. So who's the typical patient that's coming in for this procedure? And well, we have typical groupings. There is no single demographic because there are young people, there are old people, um, middle-aged people that are soon to lose a tooth or they're wearing a loose-fitting denture or partial denture or something that's uncomfortable, so they're coming to find a solution. We said at the top of the show, no more denture. You don't believe anybody should be wearing a loose-fitting denture. No. Elaborate on that. Well, we just have too many ways to help people. There is just not a reason in the world. It's not, things are getting more affordable, easier, painless. Why would you not take advantage of this? I think the reason is, they don't know that they can really do this. They think it's, they think that dental implants are tooth by tooth and they're out of this world and expense. And they're not, they're so reachable. There's all kinds of programs to make sure almost everybody can benefit from this technology. Is it true in your office that people can walk in on the day of the procedure with no teeth or even teeth that need to be extracted and they can walk out with a full arch of teeth that don't come in and out? They can do that. Is that right? Is that rare? It's becoming more and more common because people are finding out that they can do it. And so there is a little preparation before they walk in right, uh, right. to do it. But to, for, for that to actually happen, it can happen. And it is magical. People look at they can't believe it. I mean, they wake up and we hand them the mirror and their teeth are attached and they look wonderful. And they look wonderful. So where you are, are there a lot of people wearing dentures or headed to dentures? Oh, there are thousands, tens of thousands within our driving range that uh, of our office that can come. And if they think they uh, need something, they should come chat with us. There's no cost. Why not to spend 30 minutes to find out what your options may be? But I have a question. I think it's a fair question. If so many people, so many denture wearers, are out there, why aren't they all doing it? What's your take? Why aren't they all coming in? Because like you say, you can, that you can attach four implants on a full arch of teeth. Is that right? Right. They don't come in out. Why aren't they all doing it? Most denture wearers don't go to the dentist anymore. I mean, when we have people that have had dentures, we try to keep them in the practice and change them to something better when they're available and we have them coming in regularly. Most denture wearers aren't that way. So they come in and it's a whole new world. So we have a lot of education to do, but we like to, doing that, making them realize what they really can have. Um, the other people are, have, are clinging to their teeth that are really pretty terminal, even though they're going to a dentist and getting their gums treated and all these things, but there's a point where they're lost. And so the sooner they address that, the better the results are. And so they'll save the money. So, so people that, like, you can't save their teeth, and if you have bad gums, can you still get dental implants? Of course. They're, they're great candidates, but they have, they don't know this exists, and so they've put it off, put it off, because they thought they would just have to go to dentures. And everybody has been educated from age of six that you don't want dentures. So they don't realize that they could go directly to beautiful teeth in one day or maybe two days, but very quickly have something wonderful that saves them all this money and visits to the dentist. Now your center, by the way, uh, I guess the way it's normally done, and people need to know, I'm not trying to side with you or endorse you on this program, I'm just, I'm just asking the questions, but how it's normally done is you go to one person that does a surgery, another doctor that puts the tooth on top, and then maybe another place that does the imaging, you do it all right there. We do. Is that right? That's right. Aside from convenience, because this seems like a big convenience. It is a very big convenience. Any other we event? Have the, well, we have the knowledge right now about what we can do for you. And, and we can give you choices today. And that's pretty, 
pretty good. You don't have to wait and go visit another person and make another appointment. And then, you know, the, the process is, we call it the compass of the office. Yeah. It flows. We take care of every aspect. We have the laboratory. We have the equipment to do the imaging and modeling and whatever we need right there for you. How That's, old can you be to do this? To get, like if you're wearing a denture, how old? What's? Oh gosh, we've done people in their 90s. So why would a 90-year-old want to do this at well, that age? a 90-year-old uh, probably has food and, and eating as their primary enjoyment left in life because they're usually debilitated in many other ways and it's important to them. Okay. And I've had people come in in wheelchairs and all kinds of things and said, best money I ever spent <laughs> because they just, they, they enjoyed it every day. And what they can also they look eat? nice. What, what they, can... they, there's a perception, Randy, that old people don't care how they look. That is just so wrong and that I hate that when dentists tell me, oh, they'll call me and they say, well, this, this person's um, 86, I don't really know what you can do for her. And it's like, seriously, somebody 86 doesn't care, doesn't wanna look pretty, uh, that's, that's very wrong. And we transform these people and they have another life. After, there is life after 84, a lot of it. So that's not too old at all? No. I mean, really, I think at most people, are, they're living decades longer. They're, there's a whole new study about the percentage of people who are living well into their hundreds. Yeah, 80's young today, no it doubt is. about it. And so why you have to project. In fact, I tell people when they come in and sit in front of me, I say, where do you want to be in 10 years? I mean, what do you want? Do you want to be tending to little things going wrong with your mouth, or do you want to be transformed so you can enjoy that next 10 years without any problem? I mean, that's, and nobody ever made them think like that. They always said, oh, well, you're kind of too old. Maybe we could just get you by with, with this little bitty treatment here and, and let you get old and, uh, and do, do with it what you want. And that's just wrong. Maybe I'm getting older. <laughs> Are and they appreciate skeptical? that situation. Well, are they more likely to fall out when you're older? That's what I was thinking. Oh, real teeth or? No, no, the dental implants. I mean, statistically. No, no, no. So, so you're fine yeah, at no, any there's age. No, there's no reason. I mean, unless they have terrible health problems. Okay. That they, they're not really accommodating the procedure. But that's very rare, really. I mean, if they can come into our office, we're, we're fine. So some people could come in, I mean, literally walk in with no teeth on the day of the procedure. Mm-hmm. And they can walk out with teeth. They do. Is that right? Now, you brought photos. I what did. are we looking at? Here's an example. Look at this picture of this mouth. Now, yeah. you can probably tell from the lipstick that it's a lady. Now, would you, how old would you think she is? Looks like a very old woman. Yes. Now, if I uncover that and show you the picture underneath. Wow. It's, it's a 40-year-old woman in her 40s. And she looks magnificent. But she couldn't even get a job with her teeth the way they looked because she just had some family issues and health problems that brought her to that state. Or bad, sometimes people have bad choices in life. So that woman was headed to dentures. She was. She didn't realize it. She just wanted me to fix her teeth. And I said, you know, there really isn't any good way to fix those teeth without having them patched and extensive other work. I think I have a better way for you. And so we just took her directly to, in one afternoon, you see the bottom picture. Wow. So how soon, after they get their, their new teeth, supported by dental implants, how soon can they eat? The next day. I mean, it's a softer diet. They, they'll gradually move into other foods that they crave, but they can eat right away. There's no reason they can't. So when they're healed up, they can eat what? Oh, when they're healed, they can eat anything. Like apples, fruit. Uh, apples are kind of cliche. Steak, um, vegetables. People crave all different things. Could Nuts. they bite like a carrot with their front teeth if you give them a fixed set of teeth? Yes. So it doesn't really matter. Like chewy things, like pizza, they could do? Mm hmm. Yes. Are they ever skeptical? Like, do they say, Doctor, are you sure I can eat this stuff? Right. Do they ever say that to you? Like they're afraid what, about what they're about to eat? But they're, they're usually, they come back in and they have eaten so poorly for so long that just eating 
any regular food is such a pleasure because now they can taste it. Maybe they've worn partial dentures that cover the roof of their mouth. You can't taste with those things. Um, they can't chew with them either. They, they chew, I think dentures or partial dentures are like 10% chewing efficiency, but they've gone downhill slowly and they don't realize. And now they can actually chew and bite and it's phenomenal what they're feeling. So they're not even worried about real extreme things. They just are eating all the good stuff because they're usually in poor health because they can't eat good stuff. Eating salad is a primary thing. Nuts, people love nuts. And uh, So denture no wearers really can't eat nuts very well? Well, no, because those things are floating. And so if you chew nuts, you're, it's underneath your denture and then you bite down on your denture and you have pain because there's a nut under your denture. So they can't eat much of anything, especially if in public. They're not gonna eat anything that they can't just move around slowly and carefully. If they're out to dinner and laughing and, and having a good time like we would, they have to be thinking about what they're eating constantly. So that's not a way to live. And they, sometimes you have to tell them that, remind them, what, what would you like to eat? Would you, you think you can't? Let's take you there. I mean, I, I, I just have a passion and a vision for this. I have a vision for the way they can look. I know exactly when they walk in really? how I can make them look because I'm sort of artistic <laughs> and I like it. I like it a lot, you know? I mean, I can make a denture look pretty, but that doesn't work. I mean, the best, I make the best dentures around, but they don't work. They're floating. You have to, you have to trap a lower denture between your tongue and your cheeks and balance it. So you're doing a balancing act the whole time you're trying to put food in your mouth and eat and carry on a conversation with your friends. When they go to your office on a consultation, how soon before you know or can tell them, yeah, we can do this. We can give you either a snap in, snap out denture or a permanent set of teeth that don't come out. Today. Really? Absolutely. We have everything there to be able to, to give you the correct information and uh, give you choices. I know a couple of denture wearers and they seem to be happy. Are you saying there's no such thing as a, dent uh, a, a, a happy denture wearer? There are denture wearers that have to put up with what they have or don't know they could have better and they're certainly not gonna tell you even that they're wearing dentures because I have many denture wearers that come in and they say, because we do attractive looking dentures, People don't know I have dentures. So they're not, if they're having difficulties, they're not going to be telling their friends that they're having yeah, difficulties. Yeah. And I have people that, with their spouses, they, they think they don't know. They do know, but they think they don't know they have dentures or partial dentures. And so they're, they have to hide out and clean their teeth when their husbands or wives are gone. It's, it, women probably are more sensitive than men, but they wait until somebody's gone and they're, I mean, that's a terrible way to live, cleaning their dentures and so they're never without teeth and, and uh, not being able to eat and being able, having to fix two meals. You know, if you're making something for someone that you can't eat, what do you do? You have to make two things. I mean, it's just not the way you should live, in my opinion. And they can look real. Because I feel like I could spot like fake teeth walking down the street. Well, yeah, you can, you can spot fake looking everything, but there's a design this beautiful and form and function go together. People come in, they say, oh, I just want to chew. Just let me eat right. And I say, well, you know, the free thing then is how good they're going to look because <laughs> they do. You know, there's a shape that works for each person's mouth. There's a shape that works for your face. I had the interesting opportunity to watch the vascular surgeon that did mid face or did facial makeovers, facial transplants, he's done two. The lady with the chimpanzee, the middle of her face was gone. And he did this whole study about what, rec what is recognizable about you and it's your mid face. You're identified by this, your, your teeth and your lips and your nose and your eyes are who you are. And if you don't make the most of that, that's a terrible thing. Insurance doesn't cover the whole procedure. Medicare, Medicaid does not cover this. Right. You offer financing? Oh, yes. There are lots of plans. There's staging. There's, there are more kinds of financing. There are people who do different things when they realize they can really do it. And it really, um, when you break it down on a, 
not even a payment basis. If you just break it down on how long this is going to last you, break it down in how much that's going to cost you it's per day, like 17 cents a day to have this done because uh, you're going to have it for years. Let me show you this other woman. We made this up because we have uh, the lady that's in her 80s. And she had always taken care of her teeth. She's the other example. Always taking care of her teeth. She had to take care of an ailing husband for years and hadn't had an opportunity to take care of herself. So she and her daughter came in and said, well, what can you do for mom here? And I said, um, you know, I'm, these teeth, you, the dentistry was good when you had it done, but now you've outlived it. And now it's time for you to live with your teeth done. And so we did that. We removed all her teeth and gave her implants. And That's now, that, that was uh, a few years ago. Now she's traveling. She doesn't have to worry about taking teeth in and out. She goes on cruises with her daughter. I mean, she's having a wonderful life. In fact, after that, she went and had her eyelids done because she said, I'm living <laughs> a new life. <laughs> so those are the kinds of people. I mean, she's not too old. Why would you patch somebody like that together? You know, we talked on the telephone yesterday, and... And you know that I have plastic surgeons on the show, different types of medical doctors. And, and, and I think you even said, this is better than a facelift, fixing your smile, well, being able you, to eat and chew. You do. You, well, it also is a real component of your face. I mean, I, like, I believe in facelifts. Don't misunderstand me. But um, I think that, first of all, you have to have your lips supported properly for your face to look good. And then you have to be able to eat food properly to have healthy skin. And then the next step should be the facelift, if that's what you want. You okay. Know? You do this every day. I mean, every day you see transformations? Yes, every day. I mean, that's why it's so exciting for people to understand. I can show you another picture. Let's here's, take a look. Here's, here's a younger person. The look on his face, that was, that was the smile he gave us. That's that was him his, smiling. That was his smiling face. He's not just angry because he's in the dental office. We tried to get him to smile, but his teeth... Uh, he came because he knew his teeth had to be extracted, and he wasn't really going to show that part. I could have given him dentures. Uh, that could be a transition, but there is no way that that person should end up wearing dentures. Too young age. for dentures. Yeah, too young. I mean, he's got his whole life ahead of him, and he, that's what he said. He's transformed. His life has whole new directions. Please change me. He was looking like people thought he was snobby. He's a fancy Cal Poly student with a high grade point, and he was just above smiling. That's what they thought. Because Are, you Do you smiling? see those kind of people all over the place? You see them all Can different Can you tell ages. when somebody's hiding their smile? Yes, because they'll do, they'll um, drop their lip, they'll avert, they'll put their hands up, all these kinds of people, and you, you think that they're having a problem with you or whatever you think, but they're not going to show you. They're not going to let on. So those are the people that, that are sad, and isn't that too bad? They, can't, they don't need to be sad. They come in and we almost have to tickle them. The joy of this is we can change him in one day. One day. He's gone from purgatory practically and, and he can't stand the way he looks. And there are people all over like that. And if, if they realized they could go in one day and be changed, wouldn't that be Wow, special? good for you. Good for you. So that they, You love this, by the way. On a consult, do you ever get excited like they're telling you their hard luck story? I do get excited because I want to make them realize that it's a reality. Now, it may not be reality right next week for them, but they need to know that it can really happen. Some people need to do it next week because they have infection and things that are affecting their whole body. And, and those things need to be addressed as quickly as possible. I mean, there are a lot of things to show your whole health which affects, you're not eating right either, you know, because you can't chew with teeth like that. Look at this fellow. We had to tickle him to get him. And his, <laughs> mu his mustache is clear down to his lower lip. He wasn't showing those teeth to anybody. And they hurt, and they were painful. He just didn't know. So you see what he's come in with, and he, and he just, it, people come in and they think that I have never seen as bad as they have. And, of course, we see them every day. And so we have to tell them, you're not the worst case that we have ever seen. So get comfortable with this. <laughs> we can fix you. And, they need to, and then, they're, then they start to relax. And some of them are, it's very emotional because they feel like they've neglected themselves. They didn't know what to do. They didn't know what their options were. I mean, that's the big thing. Don't you want to know your options? Yeah. Yeah. Know what the steps would be. And one day is pretty 
pretty wonderful to be able to do that. Look at the fellow. I mean, he really <laughs> looks great. <laughs> he, he looks wonderful, but he said he confessed. He said, "I just didn't realize how far down I'd gone. You know, I wasn't talking, doing things with my friends. My teeth hurt. I just, you just don't realize. I didn't. I'm busy. I'm a working guy. I just didn't address it." and didn't know how to address it. And he said, to tell you the truth, I was so fearful. He said, even coming in for this consultation, I'm scared to death. I'm not even sure why I'm scared to death, but I just don't know. I, I need help. And so then uh, he's, he's a wonderful patient. Now, now these now. people, as far as pain, you, you offer sedation, right? We, so they don't feel anything during no, the procedure. No, we immediately, somebody that we recognize as fearful, which there has to be a degree of fear when there's this much work to be done is, first of all, before we go into how and what we can do, you will never be in discomfort. And if you will never be afraid, you will be relaxed, you can be sedated, we have different ways of doing that, so no worries there. Okay. We have sedated people the night before they came in. We've sedated people in the parking lot. We can take care of people. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, really. We they, wouldn't want to, they didn't want to get out of their car. Well, they just, couldn't relax enough, so we give them a little pre-med so they can relax and come in and nice. join us. And so the people work through those things once they realize that it really is a, a safe place. And every one of these people would have been headed to dentures, possibly, if they didn't see you. Right. Is that right? So no more dentures. I mean, you don't like dentures? No. Is that I fair mean, to say? Sometimes we do it at, we call the dentures transitional treatment. Okay. Because sometimes that has to be the way it is. And we're happy to do that because we know we can offer them the next step and we can tell them, okay, we're gonna do transitionals because that's what you can do right now. And that's important. We, we don't wanna just say go away until you can do this whole procedure. No, no, they need help. We help people. We can help you look good and feel good about yourself in transition for sure. So, so what are the options though for denture wearers if they walk in your office when it comes to dental implants? Well, the options are transitional care. Okay. Dentures, partial dentures. We can also, what the plan is, is to have them attached. I mean, that's the worst thing. You don't want teeth floating. Nobody wants to have flu tree teeth floating. And they've got to balance a lower denture between their tongue and their cheeks. No. Three implants minimum. The first option would be three implants, snap in and snap out. Four implants, they can be connected, snap in and out. Or you could have fixed all on four full arch. You get a full arch of teeth regardless, but it's whether they're attached permanently or you take them in and out. So the snap in, snap out is just a little bit less expensive than the fixed set of teeth. Right. Because now, like I told you, technology has really helped us. It's helped us cost-wise. I mean, things that existed um, a few years back, people just couldn't afford it. I know how to do it but it just was out of reach. Now we have technology that's really worthwhile for people to come in and talk to me. And that's, those people, I really would encourage them to come in and just see what their options are. Good, good. You know, we have time for two more photos. Oh, good. Uh, this lady was in her late 80s and she just wanted help. Things weren't good there. And uh, she said, do you think I'm too old? I said, of course not. Let's do it. And she said, all right then, let's do it. <laughs> she said, my teeth are so bad, you know, I, you know, my breath is bad. She certainly looks happy in that after photo. She's just the nicest, happiest lady. And she's even taken up piano lessons again. She's getting a new piano because she just feels good about herself. She said, look at her, she's got ribbons in her hair now. She came <laughs> yeah. in dressed in boots. I mean, she is cute. And so everybody should have a life like Margaret. And then this lady came in and she, she said, my teeth are hanging down, my lip is too thin, what can, she likes to have a good time and she likes to party and she said, my teeth are falling out, this isn't good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> said, it's not good for dating and things like that either. No, it's not good. So she rides a Harley and she's cute as can be and so we got her done, we put her teeth in, she walks over to the mirror and she says, I look bitchin'. <laughs> <laughs> she does. <laughs> she does. I mean, it's a pretty smile, I have to tell you. It's so a you design smile. that? I mean, you're part of the design in the, in the way that I teeth I design work? every smile. That is, 
That is my claim. I don't care who fab finishes the fabrication in our lab or other labs that we coordinate with, but I arrange the smile every tooth I do it. And wow. that, that's because that's my vision. I can look at people when they walk in. It doesn't matter who they are. I know how they can look. You and see the end result. I see the end result. And I have to tell them that, you know? Whether the, hopefully they can do it. Not everybody can, but I like everybody to know they can look like a real person with a fabulous smile of real teeth. Good for you. Now, you're in San Luis Obispo. We're out of time. Are you going to wipe out dentures in uh, San Luis Obispo someday, you think? Well, I, I'm trying. You're trying. <laughs> but people drive a long way to see you, right? Because they of your experience. They come from other areas, too. So, yes, because, we, and we have people moving away, and it's like reunions. They come back to see us. I had a lady in, in her 90s, she was 96. Her daughter took her to Portland. She, she called me one day, you remember who I am? I said, <laughs> yes, I remember who you are. And she said, I need, an, I need a tooth taken out, and I want an implant, and if I come down there, will you do it for me? I said, I will. She said, I'm thinking of taking the train. I said, you take the train, and we're going to pick you up and take care of you. And we did. And then we, <laughs> we had the fun, cutest part is we did a couple of implants for her, and we just did a prototype crown, which is a plastic crown. And she said, well, when do I get the porcelain one? <laughs> <laughs> she knew she was going to live long enough to out, outlive that plastic one, and she wanted the good one. Good for you. Well, you know, I want to thank you for coming on the show. And it's always a pleasure to have you back. And uh, it's nice to see you're at the top of your game as usual. And uh, it, it was a pleasure. So if somebody, well, final message, somebody watching this, and they're still afraid, their teeth are about to fall out, or they're wearing a loose-fitting denture, but they're still afraid. What do you say to them? We can take care of that. We have, we have people that are afraid every single day. They always think they're the only ones that can't face the dentist, but it takes not too much courage to come sit and talk. We can look at pictures. We can look at your pictures. We can even do a snap smile of you with a new smile and give you a preview, so that's fun too. Good, free consultation, free consultation in your office. And they get to see you? They get to see me. All right. You have to see me. Dr. Phillips, <laughs> I wanna thank you for coming on the show. Excellent, excellent. You're watching The Wellness Hour, I'm Randy Alvarez. For now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.